Today we're gonna take a look at the Character Creator Auto Setup plugin for Max, which was released by Reillusion. This one is a free plugin with the goal of creating a streamlined process with the other software. And from what I can see, it allows you to design characters and animate facial expressions in addition to deploying crowd simulations and bypassing the tedious construction of material graphs and skeletal rigs. Generally speaking, Max has been and still is one of the main 3D modeling software which is used by hobbyists and professionals alike in the 3D scene today either for modeling, animation, concept art, game development, or VFX. And now since Reillusion has released its free plugin for Character Creator, I can't wait to see what will come out of this. The plugin works with characters exported from Character Creator, animations from iClone, and stock characters from its Actor Core online library. These tools offer high-quality characters, animations, in addition to some assets. But the downside, however, lies in the complexity of importing these characters to Max. I didn't say that it is an impossible task, but it is not a simple one either, including creating and assigning material graphs for each part of the character. And here comes the character creator auto setup to automate the process. The plugin will import the digital human shader and PBR material assignment for characters, outfits, props, scenes, and animations. And you also have the possibility to convert the digital human shaders used in Character Creator 3 and beyond, exported from Character Creator or iClone into Arnold and V-Ray materials for rendering inside Max. One of the cool features is the number of environment and rendering settings, as well as rendering presets for the full body and the head in the Lock Dev tab. Those include 10 preset lighting setups and 5 HDRI environments to preview the imported characters as well as the option to load your own. You can also find rotation and strength sliders and global exposure parameters for both exposure and balance. Now, if you're using a real illusion character model, you will find a number of meshes for the body, eyes, teeth, and tongue. And for the body, you will find a bunch of parameters to adjust for refining the basic skin appearance, roughness, subsurface scattering, and wrinkles for achieving lifelike results and the material parameters will be different for both the eyes and the teeth, like the fully adjustable iris for the eyes and the variations of the color and brightness for the teeth depending on the age, the health condition, in addition to other stuff, you know, which can be adjusted for different effects. And similar to the previous parts, you can also find different parameters for the hair and facial hair, including a high quality library for hairstyles and beards. This also includes the Smart Hair Shader, which enables the natural color variations between hair strands and gradual chroma changes from root to tip. Also, I want to tell you about the wrinkle system introduced with this plugin, which is activated by default and can be controlled with two sliders, one for strength and the other one for the rate of appearance or how quickly a wrinkle will appear in the area. The wrinkle system comes with 13 defined areas, which you can select and edit individually. And the wrinkle system in the character creator is separate from the texture maps, and its sole purpose, I think, is to add an additional layer of realism. Interestingly enough, the plugin also supports Max Bipad and Cat Rigging systems. Its body rig and face rig plugin allows you to create quick rigs to work with and pose with. The rigs introduce easy body part selection via proxy objects and dummy IK controllers for IK toggling, which on top of the automatic rig setup is a great help for the majority of modelers that hate rigging. The facial rig controller found in its own tab allows for quick and complex facial expressions, which is great, with more than 60 standard facial morphs for actor core 3D and crowd sim. In addition to a 140 plus extended facial morphs for Character Creator 3 and beyond. But bear in mind that this controller only works with models that are set up with a completed facial profile in Character Creator. This release actually makes Max the latest application to get the auto setup plugin, joining the free tools already available for Unity and Unreal Engine with Reillusion saying on their blog that they are now working on a version of the Character Creator Auto Setup for Maya. So Maya users out there, you only need to wait for a bit to start using this plugin hopefully in the future. And there you have it guys. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up 
and subscribe to this channel to receive more interesting news like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.